Yo, what's going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? We are back. We are back. We are back. All right. Today is one of those days where you want to relax. You want to just enjoy gaming so this is one of these days this is your boy d757 dark man for d757 gaming we have another rpg maker mz title called wow silver by great potion games yes let's freaking go why are you working here because i wanted to make yeah but you are really yeah, you do. Huh? What do you do? What do you mean, what am I? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you 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 Oh, I'm gonna go right there. Oh, I'm gonna go right there. Oh. Give me a second, guys. I gotta look for my remote. The freaking trying to turn this TV down. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Had to go find my TV remote because my TV was loud, and I don't, I don't want to be talking over it. So, we have another RPG maker, MZ Game by Great Potion Games. Uh, they have a Facebook link. And the Instagram link, to be honest. And without further ado, let's pretty much see what this thing has to offer. What's up, Guinea Mile? What's up, Ryan C? What's going on, Raffle Wood? What's up, Harley Ken? Yes, your post is up. Your poll is up. It's pretty much a generic question. How much would you guys be charging for your game if you are releasing one pretty much uh, are you going to be uh, a commercial project or is it free so don't hesitate do not hesitate to a answer that question because I really think um, that's a lot of that's an issue that a lot of people might be facing is how much would they charge for their game so let's freaking go without further ado what's up db at dsb wizard let's freaking go not sure did i even release that poll why it's not coming up i did release a poll honest 
honest uh simple gaming but it's not showing up for some reason what's going on I don't know man I don't know I did I did release a poll so the poll was how much would you be charged how much how much would you charge for your game uh because the poll is not up you could definitely leave the answer in your um in the chat like how much put the name of your game and how much will you be considered charging for the game that simple so without further ado let's go to the options we had exploration never seen this tab before never seen this tab always dash on auto save on show quest tracker on yes 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 out of camera command remember all attack skills we don't care about all the battle let's turn this to 70 letter letter sound i don't know what that is ui so let's start a new game Let's start a new game. This is Wild Silver by Great Potion Games. And also, also, if you guys was not available yesterday, my first impression is going to be two hours. Two hours or 7,200 seconds. 76, 7,200 seconds, whatever one. So... I have a magic timer. If you look above my head, boom, there's a magic timer right there. So after that, after two hours, that doesn't necessarily mean I would stop playing the game. I will stop playing to actually give my review of the game. Two hours is enough time and definitely fair enough time to pretty much uh, judge a game. You know, an hour, I don't think an hour is enough, but two hours is enough time for the developer to really grasp in their audience and the player. You know, shouldn't take four, five, six, seven hours. You know what I'm saying? Within two hours of the demo, which most demos are, most demos are what? an hour two hours you know that should be enough time to show your game rolling what's up rolling appreciate it appreciate the like let's freaking go so without further ado as soon as i hit new game i will start the timer and we will pretty much get busy with this rpg let's freaking go Oh, this is how we starting off? Whoa, this is crazy. Potion, you can use items from the menu or in battle. Getting Miles said the lighting though, look at the water. You see how the water, like the current moves? That's freaking dope. Welcome to Wind Silver Prototype. This version of the game contains most battle mechanics, but no puzzle mechanics, no plot, and no quests. You will only visit a few of the locations playing for the final game, where they may also look different. You may find the music pretty cool, I do, but that's just placeholder music too. Hopefully, you'll like the actual pieces even better. The main purpose of this version is to test the battle system. We want to find out if the skills, items, equipment, enemies, and status effects are actually fun. Therefore, it's very important that you try out all the skills you learn and all the items you get. Please write down your feedback and send it to SireuGreatPotions.com Let's make this an awesome game. Okay, that is... That's crazy. Never seen a demo. Never seen a demo advertised like this before. Never seen it. Dash menu. So this has like JRPG action. Is this an action game? 
Okay, items. We got Belvin, a rascal, potion, one. Skills, we got leap, passive skills, equip, kitty claws, cloth waist cloak, and accessory. Just minor stuff. Nothing too complicated. Nothing too um, out the ordinary. Just little basic uh Travel between mirrors once you unlock more of them. Nice. That is dope. That is dope. I like the original idea of what I'm seeing so far. So do we got random encounters? And these or okay, we got random encounters. Choose the action per turn and defeat enemies. To see skills. <laughs> wow. That's that's nice. So these ores gives us 10 experience points. Potion. You can fully recover at goddess statues and save your progress. Alright, let's save this bad boy. On top of the auto save. Press B to access the party menu. Okay, fight, auto, options, escape. Let's do regular attack. Critical. So, leap. Leap. Oh, we just started, dude. You're like three minutes late. Five minutes, I would have had to write you a referral. I would have had to write you a referral if it was five minutes. Fable cap. So leap is just like regular attack. Not really seeing a difference. Okay, that took that took uh okay four and two. So regular attack is double attack. So regular attack she hits twice. Oh, here's an ore right here. I like the battlers. I do recommend four battlers, different enemies for each area or each main area. So we can't do anything. So you need VP to attack. There's a cooldown. Oh, we just couldn't attack at all. Hey, what's up, DJ? 990J is in the house. We got the Brentster in the house. This game is really smooth. I really like the map. I like the rays. I like just the way the combat feels. The combat feels nice. It's really balanced. Brr, 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 brr. It's kind of weird that a raccoon is selling stuff. I don't understand that. Undyne's weave. You can change your equipment in the menu. So equip. Undyne's weave. It raises match HP by 25 and prevents poison. Degenerates HP by 20%. What do you mean? Degenerates HP by 20%. Does this mean that we lose an HP? Oh, poison. Poison degenerates AP by 20%. I wouldn't have that there. I wouldn't have that there because I'm thinking that the armor does it. But not the description of the poison. Which I think that's what it is. So it's kind of confusing. It's kind of confusing. And she has a passive ability. Gains haste, dexterity, plus 50% when she attacks. Something right there. And 
also I chose this game out of completely random randomness if y'all wanted to know and the money is called shards let's freaking go all right the mysterious spell rock is floating above the ground spell rocks enable a specific character to learn a spell so we don't have that character but I like that. I like that. Blue crystals. Potion. I love the icons. I like MV graphics. By the way. It looks so clean and so nice. Okay. Blue crystals. Give these to the jewelers to receive blessings. Fable set. Sell this to merchants. Throw these magic into a magical fountain and receive a random item. Rusty coin. Remember the wishing well. You know the wishing uh, fountain. You throw a coin. You make a wish. You'll get something. This has you throw a coin. You get a random item. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Nice. Level 4. So we are leveling up a little bit, a little bit too fast, but hey, who's complaining about a level? Not sure if those experience orbs are necessary. Like it kind of, I mean, it rewards exploration, but it also uh, discourages fights as well. Let's see, do they actually work? 79. 69. So they do work. You are actually getting experience. Random encounters is a little bit. A little bit high. A little bit. Just a teeny bit. Not much. Not much. Oh, we got Ozzy up in Israel in the house. What's going on? Ozzy. Ozzy L's What's up Nice So that's the effect for a critical attack That's nice And this person just appeared Umbargo the hunter I would normally give you quests Where you kill monsters and get rewards But this is only the wild The wild silver prototype So I reward you simply for playing at all Attack candy Defense candy Magic candy uh, resistance candy, dexterity candy. Had you completed all my conch hunts in this area, I would have given you this as well. Which you shall also receive just so a heart. Okay, what do this stuff do? Tap candy, tap by one, magic, dexterity. Okay, all this go up by one. So, of course, we're going to use it. Why not? We don't have nothing to lose in a heart. Permanently raise match HP by 10. Let's freaking use it. Like I said, it's not much, but it's also, you know, it's rewarding. I like being rewarded, especially for exploration and completing stuff. Even though we may not have achievements, but, you know, it can kind of replace achievements once you reward your player or something. Don't create an RPG where you don't reward your players for exploring your big maps. Ocean. So would this open as well? Because we did everything. Assumably we did everything. level up getting strong we're not learning any skills so maybe we don't learn skills by leveling up potion a powerful enemy waits ahead 
You should be level 5 before stepping any further. We are level 5. Guard has damage taken for 4 turns. Whip and snare. Okay, he got a barrier. So I voted one to ten bucks for a game price is what I like to sell. A game four. Okay. Not sure why my poll isn't showing, but man, I would definitely like to see the unanimous, the uh, anonymous votes. Yeah, it, it's a shame that we just we don't have any skills, and we're just pretty much spamming the uh, the attack and. I don't know about the guard. I mean, I like the guard system, but for it to remain at 50% HP, boss will become even more dangerous. Whip a snare. Feels like he only just doing two moves. And he got a rage icon. Let's see what potion looks like in battle. Okay. Barrier branches. So while he's doing his thing, I'm going to do my thing. Oh, so we got to knock the barrier down. Okay, VP. Do we have like a like a ultra skill? No, we don't. Whip and snare. Oh man, I thought I could kill him. I think he got us. No, we got him. Nice. Nice. Okay, so he dropped a heart. We know that restores permanent HP by 10. Radiant Heart. It's not a regular heart. It's a Radiant Heart. In the Fable set. We sell those. Nice. That's dope. Okay. Permanently raises match HP by 40. Oh, wow. Nice reward for killing the boss. Extra life. What is this? Revives a hero with 25% limit in battle. Five. So the most you can take in battle is five. Okay, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Nice little, um, uh, the saturation and the brightness seems to be high in this game. That's it. I made only three games in which to one day to make a killer game for retail. That's true. I just hear that your first of anything won't be the best, but that's not always the case. I guess it's the lighting, the rays that kind of make it like really bright. And the character does look a little bit fuzzy a little bit. Thank you for bringing that to my... T but it does feel like the character do have a glow around them too. I don't know if that's because of the plug-in. But I do see what you mean. Hello, I'm a famous storyteller. Do you want to hear a story? Once upon a time, there was a girl on a quest to save her sister, who was very sick. Only the legendary elixir would cure the strange affliction she was suffering from. And um, what happened then? Sorry, I cannot remember how the story continued. Please, ha 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 ha. How are you a famous storyteller? 
The God rays look a little too bright, but it is a fine effect. You can get boosters, heart, and candies from the fountain if you throw some coins in. There are 30 left. Yes. Defense candy. There are 29 left. So he's a counter. So we got defense candy. That's nice. That's a nice little uh mechanic. I forgot to tell you that another hero and a number of special enemies are not included in this prototype either. Please look forward to encountering them in the final game. Welcome to the Nameless Village. My name is Arth Arthel. I'm looking for a tome that is supposed to be hidden in the deep caves. It's a heavy tome with a pink cover and elven runes in it. It's quite old and holds magical powers. Don't worry, it's nothing dangerous. If you find it, would you bring it to me? A tome, huh? I keep my eyes open. Thank you. Okay. I thought I was going to show like an image, but it didn't. It just... The mysterious spell rock is floating above the ground. White spell rocks enable characters to upgrade a spell. There are no spells you can upgrade. Hi, I'm Mila. I may not look like it, but I'm something of a battle mechanics nerd. If you want tips, let me know. Blue crystals. Enemies have one of nine elemental type. Grass, bees, heat, slime, hard, soul, dark, dragon, divine. Nice. Nice. I like the custom elemental. Instead of your... Oh, wow. We could break urns? That is dope. That is dope. It's like a piggy bank. There are strange runes on the vellum scroll. Scrolls enable characters to learn a skill. Velvin learns scheme. Ha <laughs> ha! That's original. Okay, do the pots restore? Nope, they stay broke. That's pretty dope, man. Scheme grants the kill instantly. Very smashy. Indeed. I like that, though. Something simple, yet something unique that we've never seen before. I mean, I know games you pick up pots and throw them and smash them, but not like actually smash them. That's pretty dope. I like how the doors open. What? No, I'm not an elder. I'm the juror. Travel between the continents. I'm searching for blue crystals. And I give great rewards to anyone who made some contribution to my collection. Do you have any blue crystals? Okay, so we get a reward at 3, 5, 8, 12, 20. It reminds me of the... Uh, the Ebony Idols in uh, Anron's Legacy. Okay, we got 10 crystals. Yes. Thank you. I have 10 blue crystals now. I will give you a reward for finding three. From now on, there's a 5% chance to surprise enemies, granting you a free turn at Battlestar. Okay, so this is a passive reward. This is a passive reward. Oh, okay, cool. Y'all can see the post. Awesome, awesome. Yo, what's up, Casey Sturgeon? L. Sturge is in the house. Wow, this is dope. This is dope. Surprise chance. From now on, experience glows also generates 10 VP. Nice. Urns contains 15 
urns contain 15 shards more. Nice. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. 30. 30. 23. Man, you can't beat that, man. This is... I li I'm digging the mechanics in this game. Okay, so that's a scroll, but we can't read the scroll. That's maybe for another player, another character. Blue crystals. Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Let's go. 15. So 12. From now on, potions heal 20 HP more. What? So we are learning passive skills with him. So is there a is there any place that shows us all these passive abilities? It should have end up here. It should be here. But I don't think it's there. So there's really no telling what we actually have unless we make a mental note of it. So I really think uh it should definitely register to the passive to the passive list. Cause you're not gonna remember that. Who's gonna remember all that? The everlasting battle between game mechanics and realism. It still helps to have some sort of reaction from the NPC if you're smashing stuff. It's one thing if you swipe something because it's subtle. I agree. You know, somebody come in my house and destroy stuff, I'm going to be upset. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> Greetings. I'm the blacksmith of the village. I can upgrade a silver sword with silver ores. But you don't have a silver sword. I shouldn't pry too much. What you mean? You're already smashing people pots. You should be able to pry. But the maps look nice though. I like the uh the use of the space. Jaguar claws. So we really don't have anything to buy anything with. So we're going to save our money. Iron plates. Come again. So we'll be back. We're going to save our money. Well, I could give you an item that will initiate a trading sequence. Or you could simply give you the war to complete the sequence instead. Hearts. We got four hearts. The hearts represent the gratitude of all the people you could have met if this was the full game. I don't know about letting us know how many people... That's that's kind of a spoiler. Like, if you're not going to show it, don't spoil it at all. You know, just don't give us stuff that may spoil it or whatnot. Or definitely... Tell us how many people we're supposed to meet. Kind of have that as a mystery to the player. You know. Alright, let's sell this to the Mercy. Get 25 each. That's rare, but you only get one. Well, five. That don't make sense. That don't make sense at all. So let's see what this one does. No spells. We still have no spells. Valens level 7. Bloodlust. Like the icons though. Attack by... 
apparently and remove guard double crit but half so this is accessory it is not an accessory it's a weapon hmm half defense this not even worth it that's not even worth it I don't think this works properly because we still have guard kitty claws have went and eat their damage But we all we, we care about not getting poison. Bzz. You wanna come with me? Yes. Okay, well then. Let's freaking go. Little robot joins the party. The little robot doesn't have a name yet. Nerd. Name him after the nerd mansion. Nerd generates VP when being hit. Potion and herb. So the most you can go on the battle with potion is five. Potion. Yeah, the most you can have is five. Let's do scheme. Chance to kill it instantly. Why is it? Why is it not reflecting on the enemy? Grants a chance. Okay, so it's a it's a uh, it's like a buff. VP cost up. Tackle. Got some nice Asher sequencing. Not a bad combat system. Combat is actually pretty good. It's a lot of new. It's a lot of new stuff that's going on that we normally don't see in RPGs. I like the pop ups. Wish we had different battle music. The battle music definitely don't go with the scene. It, it feels like... It feels like it's an ending. It's an ending. And it seems like it is... MV's... MZ basic battle theme. Anyway... I know that a lot of changes, you know, could happen in the in the main full game, but you know, your demo is like your demo is your representation of the full game, so you definitely you definitely want to have some some type of uh closeness between the two. Because this is your time to really reel in your player. And you don't really want to do that with a lot of default stuff. Especially if you're trying to... Um... Yes. So we learn Void. So this is a skill. A skill crystal. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Felvin's level 9. Nerves level 8. Potion. Extra life. It's locked. I'm a fairy here to teach you some handy passives. 
Okay. So we got to have these fairy stuff in order to learn. Okay. It's a lot of RTP. Some people don't mind it, but some just see the same game over and over. It won't and and that's what and that's what um the issue is. Like when you go commercial, you got to take that extra step. You have to. I mean, not saying with the mapping and stuff like that, but some things like it makes sense that if you can make the change, make the change. If you can't make the change, then, you know, what can you do? That's when you try you try to create a game that you know that you can do and present it really well so it could be a commercial game. I'm going to escape this battle. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. I am under level for real. So we got double rewards. And also, robots don't eat candy. If you want to be realistic, robots don't eat candy. So, like, uh, some items should be organic only. Some items should be inorganic. And candy shouldn't be inorganic. You know, it shouldn't be organic. Like, for robots. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh... Like, I play, matter of fact, um, Starship is a prime game where um, certain items only work on certain life forms. Like, the uh, the nano gels don't work on robots. They only work on in organic life forms. Androids could eat. Just ask. Just look at Android 18. You gotta be eat think about it though and if you if you follow the uh the timeline android 17 and 18 were human at once they were human they're not make they're not mechanical uh androids like uh 16 15 14 you know what i mean like androids uh 17 and 18 are actually human you know they had a life before Dr. Giroux did his had had his way with them. They just had bombs planted in them. They had bombs planted in them, meaning you know he had to switch. He had to switch, and because Krillin, Krillin didn't wish her uh, to be. He just wished for the bomb to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. He just wished for her to. Um, the bomb the bomb to be removed from her she was always she was always human she was always human though cyborg cyborg is is what the terminator is he's he's completely he's a robot that looks like a human he can't reproduce or anything but android 18 and 17 can reproduce because Android uh, 17 got a family Even though we don't see them But he mentions that he has a family He got he got a wife He got kids and everything So Dr. Jerome and Dr. Mew Dr. Jerome and Dr. Mew Definitely had their way with them Ghost shell. What is this? Raise evasion rate by 50% but has max HP. Like, why would I want to wear that stuff? I'm just saying. Evasion rate just go up. I mean. I'm not comfortable wearing stuff like that. Especially if it puts me on a handicap. I 
I mean, I like the option. I like my options, but... Man. You trying to kill a brother. <laughs> and the robots poison. And do poison last after battle. Okay, what's the four? Four... There's a four on top of the puzzle. Is it turns? I don't know. Deals 400% ether damage and poisons. Yo, that is freaking dope. Void Star. Let's go to the, uh, let's visit the other ones. Beautiful travel system. That was nice. There's no spells you can upgrade. So maybe you could only upgrade it once. I think that's the issue. You can only upgrade it once. Android, for what I remember, are completed synthetic with no human parts or living tissues at all. So we can't let's do rush. The skills, I'm not really, I'm not really too happy with her skills. They feel the same. I think I'm under level as well. These are level 17 creatures. And they got a regain skill. Or. I think I have to like guard too. Let me see. Guard is part of the battle system as well. Since it lasts for so many turns. Let's do void. Nice critical. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely on the level. We we are definitely leveling up fast. So maybe the developer attends us to grind, attended us for the grind and grind and grind. I think in the Dragon Ball universe, Android is like universal for everything. You know, even though 19 and 20, 
Android 19 was um the fat one and 20 is Dr. Jero. You know, even though they definitely uh they look like they're the same, you know, like robots cuz you can see their freaking brain, you know what I mean? So, I think Android is just the uh the uh the default terminology in Dragon Ball universe. Like if you're not human, you're uh you're an android. But technically androids uh, they've been altered to have like infinite energy. And that's a mis that's that's a crazy thing about them too. They have infinite energy, but it, you know, in the Dragon Ball universe, there's two different types of uh, energies. You know, Studs and spikes. There are strange runes on the vellum scroll. I can't read it. Alright, so this gotta be a robot's weapon. Steam hammer. Studs and spikes. Grants the ability to counter tap a half dexterity. Let me put that on. Let me wear that. There's a little android girl that read Vegeta in Dragon Ball and she was really strong in Dragon Ball when Goku was little. She's actually, yeah, her name is, um, dang it. I know exactly you talking about too. The little girl, what's her name? She's more of, she's more of like a, par like a parody. Start with an A. Or T. So, what y'all think about this game so far? Is it is it in your is it your cup of tea? Is it? Do you like it? Will you buy it? It's definitely different. Why he got to attack him? Dead. You think it's commercial though? It looks like it's going to be a grind fest though. And it feels like some attacks, some weapon come with uh, skills as well. I like that attack. Grants everybody counter attack and they attack at the same time. That's freaking dope. 
that's freaking dope. I don't know if y'all caught that, but once I once I did that skill, grants every battler a a, a, um, a counter attack. When the enemy attacks one person, everybody attacks that same enemy. That is freaking dope. Is it fair to say that that's why that's why you need to uh, invest mainly, especially going commercial, you need to invest mainly in assets for your game. That way you could diff like you could different like make your game different. Like if you're going commercial. I would suggest you get in custom sprites made like for your main characters that way you always have a character that looks like your character like nobody can emulate it nobody can copy it none of that you feel what I'm saying you paid the money to have somebody do your sprites you're good you have you have your character that nobody can't copy and you own the rights to that character you know what I mean? But we tend to use characters that um that um that somebody could easily replicate replicate in the game or in their game. And they and they may not even ever seen your game. They may never saw your game. What's up, Blitz? So you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Like when you go commercial, you gotta go a little bit. You gotta go a little bit beyond the beyond. Unless you could truly make your character, you know, your own. I mean, that's all I can really say about that. But you know, what I mean, the games that I play where the main protagonist looks like a different game. Yeah, the internet is full of free stuff that you can make battle bags and stuff like that. But I don't really care about the battle bats too much. I mean, the battle bat is the battle bag. But it's the characters that really stand out. Of course, these characters are going to look different. They're going to look better because this is... A lot of you guys are used to like M M Z M V. But if I was making the game, man, I I mean me per especially going commercial, I'm gonna have the first thing I would do, I gotta get I gotta commission somebody to make me uh a hero, you know, like my main battlers. I want custom battlers. I don't care about the enemies, but like my battlers who I could reuse and use in different games. I got I I have to go all the way out on that. But a lot of that stuff costs money. Don't nobody really have money like that to spend resources and stuff like that. But I think it's just some people scared because you know they don't know how their game is going to do so they're scared to spend that extra money did you try the new demo no i didn't <laughs> Don't do that, man. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, man. Okay. Since we got the Nerd Mansion in the house, go ahead and put the name of your game or where it's located at and that way he could play it too. Since he does first impressions. Then you got two opinions. Yeah, this boss. I'm either... I need to buy new equipment. I need to buy new equipment or I need to... Uh, uh, I'm un definitely under level. <laughs> yeah, the Nerd Master's in the chat, man. Definitely... Uh, like I told you, I don't mind you guys promoting yourself in the chat. I really don't mind. But I don't think YouTube will, will allow you to put down links. I appreciate that they replaced the menu sound. Yeah, they, I mean this game the game ain't bad. Believe it or not, the game is not bad. It's actually a really good game. Like I like the mechanics, I like the uh the exploration. You know, this is something I would actually uh wouldn't mind picking up for myself. And playing casually. It's actually pretty good. Great presentation for a demo, to be honest. You know, uh, we don't know story. Like the developer said, you know, this isn't about story, side quests. We just want to show off the battle system. So the uh, the developer probably likes the battle system and want to show it off more. And the battle system can definitely be a main seller for a game. You feel what I'm saying? Like how Xenogears was. Xenogears battle system was amazing. Legend Lagaya battle system was just as good too. So I mean it's a it's a lot of games that will uh definitely um have small you know small um mechanics that would be a battle seller like music, battle system, the mapping. All that good stuff. Like Starship. Man, that music is so... So bump. You know what I'm saying? Like... You bopping your head. Like, it's a head bopper. The music is a head bopper. It's really good music. Even though I got a copyright claim for playing it. It's, it's a good... It's a good music. It's good music. Sometimes you gotta be careful. Um, Sometimes you gotta be careful of oh, where you get your music from, because it may say it may say free, but on different platforms. That's the thing. On different platforms, it may not be free, copyrighted free. Because there's some music that I use on Facebook that I got exclusively from Facebook.
but it was copyrighted free to use. But that same music that I use on YouTube, I get a strike until I had to like uh, fight Facebook about it. I had to fight them. I mean, not fight Facebook, but YouTube. I was like, bro, this music is free to use. Why y'all keep striking my videos? You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Making your own assets has its limits. And I only have my voice and flow. Man, I'm telling you, I will. I followed this. I followed this one group on uh, on Twitch. They're three individuals. I think they're game making, but one do the streaming, the other one do like the gaming and whatever. But their first impression is too. I think they're gonna be playing uh, Harlequin's game on Thursday. I think. But these guys, I was watching one of them. They was creating custom battlers like sprites frame by frame amazing looking at it looking at it makes me to it would discourage me <laughs> it would discourage me trying to uh, replicate what he was doing because how he was doing it it was like it was like there's no freaking way I could do that you know what I mean but at the same time, I think he was um, looking at like a guy and just following it. So it probably it probably felt it probably feels complicated to do, but I'm pretty sure you find like a step by step guy online, it could be just as easy. So, I mean, making your own assets is, is doable. You just gotta, you just gotta, uh, at least, a con you know, try to do it. And you'll be surprised. Maybe you'll get better at doing it till it comes naturally. You know, it's like using the engine. You know, at first you was like, you didn't know how to do anything. But until you started, like, you know actually getting your hands on and doing the cust you know the script work and all that stuff it became easy because practice makes perfect i think that's where a lot of us lack at that's where a lot of us lack at because we don't try it all right i don't know if it's me but it is really unbalanced in this area or I could just be a little bit too weak I don't know yeah I think I'm weak because I'm only taking like nine nine off in the level that I'm on okay this person joins me sis so swire sorry generates vp when friends are hit let's freaking go we got a huntress so we're gonna go back we're gonna go back to uh town there's a mirror right there Life's Edge. That gotta be the Huntress. Sacred Grove. Attacks. Attacks from a distance with silver damage. At battle start, uses an herb to raise attack by 50% for two turns. So this is the automatic. That's dope. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is like making your weapons fun. It keeps you in the menu, just trying new stuff. I mean, so far this developer is is killing it. 
with all the original ideas and stuff like that. Like, it's nothing you can really bad, badly say about the game. Kind of giving, kind of give you some ideas, like how to uh, create your uh, your weapons and you know extra abilities that your weapons can give your characters. You don't really see that a lot in RPG Maker. So I need to buy some equipment because like it's really. It is really showing. Huh? It is really showing. Like my weakness. There's not really much we can give. Oh snap. Yeah, it's not we could buy either. Whisper wind skirt. That's what I'm talking about. Evasion rate for a hundred percent for two turns Halves wind damage so invasion rate so we will automatically dodge two attacks For two turns Not bad Actually pretty good No, I want to trade this in Alright, so combo chance. Passive of Swar grants a 10% chance of getting another turn. Battle Analyx. Raise experience by 20. Breather. Passive for Swar. Road Trick. Tax have 10% chance to poison. Grants haste at battle start. Nerd grants guard at battle start. Healing items used by Velvet are 50% more effective. Raise healing received by 25. Once per battle, automatically revives Nerd with 25 HP. Auto life. Breather. This is dope. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> Probably Grant's Haze head start. Extra experience. 10% for another turn. Let's do that. Head start. Patience in the house. Seeing those many materials making me dream of all them our crafted materials. Art takes forever. I think you're better off going for style and uniqueness if you're doing it yourself. Or just better better yet, learn how to make good maps. Like your maps your maps can definitely uh say a lot about your game. I just feel like these enemies are imbalance like they're too strong even though i'm on a high i'm on the decent level i'm on level 15 it doesn't feel like it it feels like i'm like level three to be honest it feels like i'm low level sixty nine and why give us a character that's level one in the first place?
Attack seal, meaning we can't do attacks. That sucks. Like, how is she gonna level up if she can't stay alive to level up? That's why I was thinking that they was gonna have like an overdrive combo, but apparently they didn't they don't have it in the game. But I think this is a grind. You gotta grind in this game. So let's go to the forest and get her level up. Because she is too weak for this area. It's impossible. It's impossible. We stand no chance against those enemies. I'm not even going to lie. So guys, man, my wife's birthday is Saturday. I still have not gotten her anything for her birthday. She is really hard to shop for, so... If you have any ideas, man, please send them this way. Send them this way. She got pretty much a lot of electronics. Uh, she got pretty much everything. The only options I, I'm thinking of is clothes. Just clothes. Like I have no idea. Or just get her money. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mapping is simple. Most definitely. <laughs> she says she already has a PS5. Like I be joking her. I said, babe, I'm about to play, play my PS5. She said, oh, you about to play our PS5. So... She already got a PS5, according to her, even though it's mine. And it probably wouldn't even get no gameplay. Make a nice dinner for her. Ah, uh, Brent, you is no help. I mean, uh, Raffle Wood, you is no help. Ha <laughs> ha Since she got a twin sister. They probably gonna wanna go to Captain George's. So we might end up going there, but gift wise, I don't have anything gift wise for her. Coloring book. DJ990J, I wish it was that simple. And where I'm gonna get a PS5 from? Them things are hard to find. And I'm not, I'm not paying. I'm not paying. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, shoot. She learns Gus. Let's freaking go. So, bat travel is, is a must. Bat travel is definitely a must. You know how you know how hard it was to get my PS5. I had to, I had to go to war. I had to fight. I figured something out after after the stream. I'm gonna go to uh, Best Buy and see what I can find for her. Best Buy or um, I don't know. Buy her a nice SD. I don't think I have enough time because her birthday is in four days. I'm a last minute shopper, dude. Like, like that's that's my problem. I wait to the last minute to buy stuff. And 
I told myself I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it again this year. But apparently, you know, I procrastinated once again. So the rest is history. I have an idea, I think. She been asked for uh certain stuff. I think about it. A new purse with some really interesting designs or emblems on them and put gift cards in the purse for places she she frequents. That's dang, she got a purse. She got a new purse. And she's specific in color too. It got to be purple. It has to be purple. Cause that's her favorite color. Ah, y'all women are so hard to shop for. Why? Why y'all gotta be so tough? We're not D7. Trust me, you're not tough. Spell word amulet. Man, I love this wishing well. I love it. Yeah, right. Can I be asking what you want? She said, nah, I don't. I, I already got one of those. Nah, I don't. I already got it. I bought her Nintendo Switch. Like the, the, the Switch Lite. She got one of those. And I bought her Mario Rabbits. You know, the Mario Rabbits game. I bought her that. Still in the plastic. That was almost two Christmas ago. It's still in the plastic. She has not opened it yet. Then I bought her for uh, two brothers. You know, the two brothers game. She wanted that game. She has not even played that yet. And I bought that like a year ago. So. Can't buy her game. Because she won't play it. So it'll be a waste of money. Yeah, I'd probably get her money or gift cards. So she go, uh... You know what? I think I know what to get her. I think I know. Probably buy her some outfits. I bought my way. A thousand dollar gaming PC. Guess how many games she played on it? Zero. Ha 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 ha. And that's the thing. I bought her a laptop. I bought her a brand new laptop. Like. I say about six months ago. And um. I mean she used it for school. But not like that. She don't really use it. So I mean. She like. I, I, I think I know what to get her. I think I know what to get her. Alright, uh Yeah, they they tough man. Women are tough to shop for. See, I know what I get my girlfriend. I buy her a sword, a size, or replica of some kind from a movie. Yeah, right. But, Brent, a gaming PC for just your job? She better write that as a tax. I hope you wrote that as a tax write-off. So you get your $1,000 back. That's one mistake I did. I used my gaming PC. At one point, I used my gaming PC as my business. Because, like, when you register your business and stuff like that. When you register with the state. 
or with the city, whatever. You gotta you gotta give them a list of what you use for the business, like equipment. They want to know everything. They want to know your equipment, your uh, your cleaning gear, whatever you use for the business. They they want to know because you pay business tax on that. And I told them my gaming PC. I used my gaming PC at one point. I was using it for uh for uh you know for uh, my merchants and keeping stuff on there doing taxes and stuff like that man when i got the the property tax bill i said man screw this because you gotta pay the same property tax on it for the life it doesn't depreciate or nothing you spend a thousand dollars 10 years they will still consider that computer a thousand dollars and you still gotta pay taxes on there so i got one of my older laptops that cost probably a hundred bucks and tell and told them I use this instead. Screw that. You're not gonna get free money off me. Oh yeah. It's not a bad game though. It's grindy. You gotta grind your tail off. But it's dope though. The the developer definitely put some love and attention in this game. You can't really you can't really uh you can't really uh say anything bad about it, to be honest. Let's freaking go. Especially if you're going to commercial. If you if you making a commercial game, you know, why not why not claim all that on your taxes? That way, you know, you could save some money at the end of the year. Especially your game not making a profit. If your game not making a profit, you know, just count everything as a loss. What you pay this guy, you count it as a loss. It won't, you won't be, you won't be uh, held liable for it. And plus, you know, it'll keep you within that same threshold. I do it every freaking year. But some people scared. They don't, they scared the IRS is going to. Knock on their door and be like, hey, you got that? I'd be scared too. <laughs> oh, man. I'm freaking done. I'm freaking done. I ain't mess with y'all guys. Yeah, but I'm scared. I'm still under level though. Still under level to go to that part. With Swar. See everybody's 16 and 15. She on 5. You like my little timer. That's above my head. That's pretty dope ain't it. That's freaking go. 15. Uh, two hours is all you need. I know a guy who was audited by the IRS. He, he was under it for four years. Wow. Can you think about it? Think about this though. You know how many probably developers claim that PPP loan? You gotta ask yourself that question. How many developers claim that PPP loan and uh got like 10,000 back free grant money and don't have to pay it back I'm pretty sure a lot of people took advantage of that for them to audit you my Jenny Miles they have they technically have like 
three years to audit you. Like you have three years to file your taxes before you um before you you know face any penalties or whatever. But they can audit you, man. For so many years, and that's why you gotta keep seven years of records. You gotta keep seven years worth of your uh your records because that's how far back they could go back and audit you. I haven't been audited yet. I mean, people that I seen got audited. They pretty much had to verify the identity. You know, it could be something simple as a driver's license number or. You know, um, a social security number. It's nothing really. Like, an audit isn't bad, but if the numbers don't make sense, what I've been told, if the numbers don't make sense, um, the machine could pick it up and could, and could trigger an audit because nowadays, the machine, you know, the machine kind of adds up the number and corrects and corrects it if it can. Like they could, they could pull, they could audit your taxes, and if they could make the correction, they won't notify you. But majority of the time, if they can't, they'll notify you and they'll be asking for certain information, man. That's why you gotta have everything on freaking paper. And with this PPP loan, a lot of people getting caught because. The IRS is asking for certain information and they don't have it. <laughs> they don't have the information to give them. So what are they going to do? They have no choice but to uh, face the consequences. Come on, man. This is getting annoying. He had to pay them thousands of dollars. Wow. I know one person right now that owes the IRS over a hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, dude, you ain't commit suicide yet. I'm joking. I ain't tell him that, but I was like, man, I wouldn't even know what to do. I'd be so hurt. I wouldn't know what to do, for real, for real. Woo! He made a lot of money and won't pay in his taxes. <laughs> he made a lot of money and won't pay in his taxes, boy. And I would, man, I would not even know what to do. Like I'll I'll lead the state. I'll lead the country. Not even gonna lie. I will lead the freaking country, man. Fake my death or something. <laughs> I pro yeah, a hundred thousand. He o he owes a hundred grand. Think about it. If you make if you make a hundred thousand dollars for your business, self employment taxes is, is is like seventeen percent. So you already just for off self employment taxes you owe seventeen thousand. <laughs> you owe seventeen thousand if you make a hundred grand. Just self-employment tax. Your self-employment is your state, your Medicaid, and um, and uh, Social Security. That's self-employment. That's that's like fifteen to seventeen percent. Then that that's not including the IRS. So when if you're making a lot of money and not paying your taxes, that stuff add up. 
and they be like, dang, uh, how you, how, how you buying, how you buying these cars and these houses and you ain't paying your tax and what's going to happen? They're going to launch an investigation on you and they're going to freaking, uh, send you that letter and say, uh, by this date, they want to see so many years of your back taxes. If not, they're going to arrest you. And, and you're going to go to jail. Shut up. Okay, she level nine. I mean, she's leveling up for sure, slowly for surely. But at the same time, this is a grind. This game is a grind. Sissy eight, and this is a boss. Level seventeen. Great potion. All right. See, one hit kill. That's freaking crazy, man. Let's go ahead and block. Bring her back. It'd probably be a waste to bring her back, though. Brace. So everybody get do counter attacks. Laser. Void. Poison them. As we can go. I wanted to like. Okay. Nerd. Go ahead and block. Well, guard. Highway, what's going on with you? We are playing uh, Went Wild Silver by Great Potion Games. Okay, that was a critical hit, but she is so weak to do anything, my dude. Okay, so when they counter, they don't take any damage. Normally, you know, you, everybody takes damage. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. I see scheme works. Death attack. Okay, we still got some turns. Five, 13. So poison is doing a decent amount. You know what? Her them freaking stones, boy. Let's freaking go. This person probably immune to death. But he is a boss, so. Poison.
There's a counter control plugin for MV that will make it like Final Fantasy Counter will both. I think this is intentional. This is intentional because one, the the cool the cool the cool off is is really big and uh, just based on how the the system is itself. I think this is intentional. I'm not gonna uh I prefer it to be this way based on like how weak these players are. Yes, let's freaking go. Oh man, nice, nice. Level 18. Jewel Fangs. Let's freaking go. It about time. Earth damage and remove guard. Have BB cost. Not sure what remove guard is, but okay. Still taking a lot of uh, damage. Oh, so they weak against earth attacks. Sneer. It's a Pokemon. Pokemon move. There we go. Now we getting somewhere. Now we getting somewhere. That's what I'm talking about. I just uploaded my updated game. I'm done editing for a bit. Yeah, for those who has a PS4, you can download the RPG Maker uh, MV client for free. Doesn't cost you anything, and um, believe it or not, man, I think you're number one up there. Uh, uh, Tidal Wave. Whenever uh, I put in your game, you're number one. Like your game is the first one there. That's pretty dope. I think MV should have uh, should have implemented trophies. That would be dope. Like trophies for leaving a review, trophy for completing each game. Like if you completed a game, you get a trophy. You know, kind of support the developers. Yeah, but like D7 his freaking trophies, man. Come on, man. Like every game can't have a trophy. Every game cannot have a trophy in it, D7. My goodness. You don't understand. Your game needs a trophy system. If it doesn't, it's not fun. I'd be a fool. <laughs> I'd be a fool to, draw, to fight that battle. Okay, double match H. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is what Nectar do? So we have six coins. We get a Nectar. That is dope. I really hope these orbs isn't in the real game like this. That it that pretty much uh, influences quick leveling, quick leveling. Like I really don't like that. I rather fight for my rights.
to party. Trophies are for bit boy money. Not necessary for bit boy money, but if you want your game to be like on a console like PlayStation, you need trophies. They require you to have trophy system. If not, in-game trophies, in-game trophies, man, would do the job. You know, give give your player something to work for. Just don't like you know, assume that they're just going to want to play your game and not be rewarded. You know, make your game interesting. Set challenges. You know what I mean? Yeah, D7, we will know what you mean. For those who have not joined me on Twitch yet, Please join me because I will be doing, I will be trying to do two impressions, two first impressions a day. One for YouTube and the other for Twitch. But after 24 hours, I will upload the first impression that's done on Twitch to YouTube. So if you can't be there live, for the twit session, you got to wait 24 hours before I I'm able to upload it to um, to the YouTube side. So, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know I'm trying I'm trying to do two first impressions a freaking day. To raise awareness. I got to I got to raise awareness guys like uh, rpg maker is is um is everywhere it's on twitch it's on uh twitter instagram facebook you know i gotta i gotta i gotta take advantage of the social media sites i have to you know they're there they're there for a reason I gotta take advantage of them, man. Especially if I want to play your games and meet new people. Meet new people. Like, I ran into so many developers yesterday. I played Starship. Got people wanting to play that game. You feel what I'm saying? It not just only helped me. It helped you guys, too. Whirlwind. This gotta be an AOE. It helped, it helped you guys, too. And other people is going to want to play your game because it's something to play. It's content. It's like free marketing. So, you know, if you guys are there, chilling with me, and when we raid these developers, when we raid them, these streamers and stuff like that, that plays RPG Maker games, they're going to be so happy. They're going to be like, hey, what's up? We got a raid from D7. You guys say, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? And every time I go in there, I say, look, we RPG maker Pete. These We got developers up in there. Because they always assume. They always assume I'm creating the game. Like, nah, dude. Nah, freaking dude. We, uh. We, uh. Developers and all that stuff. You like to play our games? Like straight up. You can ask Harlequin. Even Nerd Mansion was doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like advertising himself. A guy went up there. He said, yo, check out my website. Guy went up there, checked out his website. And 
you know, was making notes of his game. You know what I'm saying? That's free advertising. Got to take advantage, man. Got to take. Don't be scared. Oh, we got Molnir. Let's see. Attacks with wind damage. So we don't have thunder in here. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play. I guess. I guess this this is something where we're missing somebody. We're missing somebody that uses a sword. Great potion. I really hope um, this is just for demo purposes, but finding stuff like this. I mean, it is kind of fun, though. It is fun getting new items and, and stuff like that, but is the real game going to be like a cash grab like this? Even though they said. Even though they said it's not. It's it's totally different. I'm interested in definitely seeing how this is gonna come out in the end. Corleone. Yeah, we're missing like a knight or somebody. And that's a purple crystal. Doom instantly kills after two turns. What? What? Wow. That's a heck of a skill. We are down to the last 15 minutes, man. I really like this timer idea. I really like this timer idea. I don't have to force myself to play through games that's not really fun. <laughs> Woo! I think that was mean to say. There's fun. There's a lot of fun RPG maker games. There's a lot of fun RPG maker games. Don't don't get me don't get it twisted. See, I got videos that's been recommended to Reddit, so I definitely need to uh, look out. Go on Reddit too. It just keep it just keeps slipping my mind. So I definitely I wanna I wanna uh, explore a lot of avenues that I can. We learn Eclipse. Bitmon's going at it again, y'all. My neighbor. Cousin, her kid's out, boy. I would have felt like she ain't love me. Cussing me out every day. Like, mom, do you, sh you sure you love me, mom? Like, straight up. Straight up. Do you love me? Ha. <laughs> She be cussing them kids out. Let's do Eclipse. If they don't die, we gonna run away. That's dope. I really like how they die too. Like, like the items just pop up.
Nerd learns rock. So he's the he, she's the purple crystals. He's the uh, the yellow crystal, and she's the uh, green crystals. I gotcha, gotcha. He is a little bit stronger. Oh, wow. Like, I posted, I be posting my videos and stuff, like, on social media. And, wow, like, I think I been getting subscribers like crazy. People have been subscribing like freaking crazy. I'm like, where are all these people coming from? But the thing is, I want them to watch my videos. I want them, you know, to watch. That way they get to see you guys. I'm definitely going to be on, uh... I gotta uh, explore other avenues as well. So Reddit, here I come baby. D7 is coming. Okay, that adds slow to them too, that's dope. Oh, they explained. They explained that they said there's there's no quest, there's no story, there's no plot. They just want to focus on the um they um they just want to focus more on um the battle system. They said it, so I, I I'm giving them a pass. One thing, uh, Tidal Wave, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. You just gotta. I'm a very patient guy. Very patient. Like, you know, one of these days, I even see people with like tens of thousands of subscribers, but when they go live, they only got like 12 people live. And you're like, man, what happened to the other subscribers? Somebody with at least 10,000 subscribers should at least have 200 people live. You know, it happens. People subscribe, they forget. You know, I don't want to forget. I don't, I don't want people to really forget about me. So, I mean, but at the same time, you can't put a gun to their head and be like, hey, come join the live. You know what I'm saying? So, some people just subscribe on impulse. And as a streamer, as a streamer, you're going to have to uh, pretty much kind of know that. Oh, she probably could read the other one, too. Enlighten. So I really like, I really like the mechanics of this game. Pretty dope. Yo, we got Dutch Power Creations in the house. What's up, my guy? Nah, we don't want her to go to Berserk. Nah. I don't like I don't like the Berserk mechanics. If I can't control you, <laughs> doubles attack but halves HP. Man. That's a big half. <laughs> that was a big drop. But is it worth it? Probably not.
I've been falling drifty when he had probably 300 subscribers. I've been following Driftwood for a while. I mean, you you see these channels growing. I started getting serious YouTube in around COVID time. I mean, I, I did little uploads video here and there, but it was just little gameplays and stuff like that. And Guinea Miles, I think I started following Guinea Miles when he was like a hundred some subscribers. And now he's like seven hundred and some change, almost eight hundred. You know, I mean people people's growing at their own at their own rate. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's just, it's just, you just got to be patient. Of course, we want the subscribers. We want the... Uh, and stuff like that. But you got to be patient, man. And that's going to show a lot with your game, too. Like, when you release your game... And you're waiting for... That notification that somebody's downloading it. Or about to download it. You know, you got to be prepared for all outcomes. Whether it's good or bad. Like, like, uh, Harlequin, he, like, this is why RPG Maker is so big. Harlequin just started screaming. Like, his stream was so lit last night. I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy. But you all, like, like I already know, you're going to have people that are going to sign up off the whim you know what I'm saying like a lot of developers signed up because you know they figured it's the right thing to do but do they come back majority of them don't come back majority of them don't come back and help other developers they just care about their game I mean what can I do it's not like I could unsubscribe them for me I don't think YouTube allowed that but I always feel like somebody will eventually come back. They'll stop by, say hi. They'll come back and stuff like that. And also, you know, you got real life stuff. They may not have time to come back. They may not be able to come back because they're busy. You don't know. You don't know what somebody's going through. So I'm really understandable on that because I go through stuff. I got stuff to do sometimes. I can't always suspect every time I go live, everybody be here. I, I don't expect that. You know, I would love it, but the way life is, I mean, you may not be able to uh, come to the stream because you got stuff you got to do. That's some real. That's on some real stuff. You found the tone. Let's freaking go because that's what I need, baby. That's what I freaking need. I need that tome. I need the freaking tome. Let's go back to the village. Give it to her. Give it to this girl right here. I hope she joined my party. Artel, is this the tone you've been looking for? That's it. Here you go. Thank you. I will, it would be great a help. Great. Anyway, after visit DK's and finding the tone, you may be ready to venture even further in the opposite direction, Ashley. You see, there's an island in the sky above the ocean located 
And the island is a cathedral. I could take you there. Yeah, take us there. Take us there. Ah, oh, this is the entrance. I right. this is the um the beginning. You know the title cover. So the plot thickens, and we haven't even explored everything yet. Man, do I want to explore everything? Like D7, please go in the cathedral. Please D7, please, please go in the th cathedral. All right, man. I freaking will go to the cathedral. Brent said, oh man, it's almost over. Thank God, it's two minutes left. Thank you. <laughs> the first time D757 stream came to my YouTube recommendation. What? This is what I'm this is what I'm talking about. Like YouTube do some crazy stuff, man. This is why I want to become partner. YouTube partner because they'll show they'll recommend my videos more. Even on Twitch, like I'm surprised at the views I be having after my stream. I'm like, really? I don't even really have a lot of people on Twitch. It's like doing DoorDash and Uber Eats. If if anybody do DoorDash and Uber Eats or whatnot, or any you know uh, gig service, if one is slow, you switch to the other one. You keep going back and forth. That way, you're not losing money. That's freaking dope. The timer in the corner is it's recommended. You got to have the timer in the corner. You got to have it, dude. Very important. Very important. All right, let's do void poisonous joker Critical let's freaking go But you are free to elaborate why you don't like it. I would definitely like to know people opinions about it And I will explain to you why For those who may not know three two one Bam! We're like, oh man, that's the wrong message. That's the wrong freaking message, but. Alright, the timer is done. The timer is done. So, pretty much this is my part to really let you know what I think about the game. That's all the timer is. What I've gotten out of the game in two hours. Not four hours. Not five hours, not six hours, not seven hours, but two hours. So let's freaking talk about it. And I'll tell you what I think about the game. All right, this game is called Wild Silver by Great Potions. Uh, Great Potion Productions. I apologize if I pronounce it incorrectly, but I believe it's Great Potion Productions. So, so far, what I got of the game within my two hours of playing, the game had beautiful maps. It got beautiful maps. I really like, you know, I like MZ character designs. MZ characters look a way better than MV. I don't think it should be visible to the audience. It just come of a less like homie. I don't know if it should be visible to the audience. It just comes of less like a homie trying your game out and giving you tips. More like a mechanical experience. Yesterday on my trial run, I did not have the timer. Uh, 
the timer uh exposed but i did get some recommendations saying that i should have the timer exposed so i mean it could be mixture or whatnot it kinds of go against the vibe you typically have for your streams and adds unnecessary pressures i understand and but you are you're pretty much you're pretty much the one said i need to be a little bit more stricter am i correct and and you are right i gotta be a little bit more stricter and i feel like you know i've been playing games i've been playing games for um if you look at my other streams i go on for like three hours four hours and stuff like that like without even breaking the bank but technically if you're going to release a demo you know you got to have some type of i said i said that like for 10 stream d7 way too easy on those games you got you got to you got to put yourself in a predicament where are you actually going to keep playing this demo if you like it or you don't like it the timer doesn't and i explained the timer doesn't mean that i'm gonna stop playing the game the timer is just a way of me explaining what i think about the game within two hours because i don't think an hour is enough i i don't think uh the hours you know the hours uh, one hour is enough i think two hours is fair to really you know to give the feedback because sometimes the developer may not be able to stay the whole time you feel what i'm saying it's kind of it's kind of a way to letting the people know that yo i'm gonna play your game for this amount of time and a lot of times developers are surprised i play as long as i do anyway they surprised I go two hours of playing because they don't get that. So I don't think two hours is going to really shake, shake as much. You feel what I'm saying? It's not going to really shake the tree because two hours is a long time for any type of first impression from any streamer. Like you could Google, you could Google stream or YouTube streamers playing a game. You're not going to see two hour streams. You're not going to see it. So, I mean, we still will go beyond two hours. I just think the two hour limit is a fair way for me to say, um, you know, this is why I think within the first two hours. So I would definitely make an annotation of that so people can understand it or in the future. But two hours is a godsend. And I've been told that many times. Two hours is a godsend that i stay on a project and also you know you don't know the developer if there's not a time that's whatever like worked out they're going to feel like can they make it at all they're not going to be able to make it and all that stuff so uh i gotta kind of i gotta kind of you know make it work for myself because i'm trying to do multi streams the time are visible okay but i'm gonna have to let them know it's gonna be two hours i have to let them know you know what i'm saying like i, I want to be fair or they're gonna catch on like oh this guy only played for two hours because the two the youtube video is only two hours i wouldn't have the visible okay you want to have it you wouldn't have the visible so y'all are against y'all are against of the timer being visible i should just keep it to myself okay okay if that if that's it then i would definitely have the the timer right where i could see it but it's, it's still gonna be two hours it's still gonna be two hours. i really think i don't i don't want to exhaust myself to be honest but i got you though i really appreciate it man I, I appreciate it i appreciate it let me know let me know man i would just say play to your liking and not to the standard okay so the dev is like hopefully he's gonna reach that awesome part i made in those two hours oh snap the timer runs out <laughs> simple game i don't like you at all i don't like you but i really i appreciate it man I appreciate it. So, I mean, y'all the experts. 
I'm just a streamer. So the two timer rule is out. The two hour timer visible rule is out. I will not show it. I for a 1 million years would not show the timer on the screen because I don't think that is D757 friendly. Okay. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. PC stand is such a silly thing because 90% of them got serious issues even though they have cool plugins. I wouldn't even change your stream to be heard. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, mister. Are you getting on Twitch after you stream? Are you getting on Twitch? Like I'm a robot? You guys won. I appreciate it. I think two hours is fair. You got to have time for life too. And that's one of the big ones because I don't want to feel like uh, I got to I got to make some type of schedule. I got to make a schedule, guys, because, you know, this is the only way I really want to make it work because I don't want to have I don't want to have. Um, dang, you uploaded that already, my dude. OK. I don't want to I don't want to do random pop-ups that's how the old d7 was I was doing random pop-ups but now I started I started um you know leaving leaving pre-stream uh stuff that way you know the time I'm, I'm about to stream I really think that's really helpful for both so okay All right, so the game has a lot of unique mechanics to it. Like, I like the battle system. I like the world exploration and stuff like that. I don't know if these enemies are going to be frequent in the regular game. Like, this is the area and these are the type of enemies we fight. I don't think it is. I think how the demo is set up. The developer just created a battle arena and just spread orbs where we could get and and fight certain levels of enemies, like higher levels, lower level enemies, to get a feel of how the battle system really is. I think that's what the developer is trying to emulate in this. This is no reflection of the real game. I really like that idea. I really like it because you feel like your battle system is the strongest point of your game so you got to show the battle system i i kind of take my hat off to that i i take my hat off to that because you know when i play an rpg i am so anxious to get into a battle system and you pretty much gave us a decent battle system with some strategy it has strategy guys it has strategy like you gotta guard you gotta make sure you counter and all that good stuff or if not, you're gonna get hit hard. And you're you can only go into battle with five mass items. That's kind of good. That's kind of unique. Uh, <laughs> my model for let's plan. Drop it if you don't like it and tell what things may you not like it. Up to the dev to do something about it or not. That's truth. That's freaking truth. That's power creation. Then D7 need to pick multiple games for every stream just in case he hits a bad one, though. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to, dude. This this is this is this is what makes me different from other streamers. Now, if the game is unplayable, everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves a chance. If not, a lot of you games, a lot of you guys games probably wouldn't have gotten played by me if I was really strict. You as a developer, I mean, I think you should be given that chance, that honest opinion. 
and I can't give it to you because I may be prejudiced or about something inside the game that I don't like. You feel what I'm saying? Like I, I try not to uh, allow my judgment to like get. I'll give the game a chance. Like the game I played yesterday, the flower game. I'll give the game a chance. You know what I'm saying? That way you can't say, oh man, you ain't played my game longer. Bro, yes I did. I played it for two freaking hours. I played your game for two hours and this is what you had to actually show. Everybody deserves a chance, man. That's like one of my biggest, my biggest, uh, you know, expectation for you guys. I got to give you a chance. I got to give you a chance. If I got to sit through some garbage, let me sit through it. You feel what I'm saying? Let me uh, let me do it. Because you bought games that have been garbage before. You bought games that have been garbage before. And you also, I'm emulating a player who bought your game or is trying out your game. And I'm playing it and I'm telling you what I think about it. You got to keep that in mind too. So if the game is bad, I just play the bad game until I'm done with it or what not i think that's fair i think that's fair to the de to the developer the developer needs a fair and honest opinion and i can't give that to him if 15 minutes in the game is straight garbage or a whole bunch of dialogue or the battle system is bad that's like i mean you can't do that you know what i mean you cannot do that so i play the game for like what i can to analyze some information and let them know about it like straight up everybody been everybody been through that like if you google your game on d757 gaming you're gonna have at least an hour and a half or more for playthrough because i given you the chance to uh to really show what you what you're made of but but I mean, we got to learn that it shouldn't take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours to uh, to really show how creative you are. You know what I mean? I kind of kept that hidden to myself. That's why I came out with that timer. I came out with the internal clock because I really feel like, you know, a good developer with a solid game should really interest their player within 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes is a long time half an hour so you tell me i gotta play an hour to get interested in your game you know what i'm saying i gotta play an hour to get like oh man this this jack dope oh my gosh no no you feel what i'm saying even when I played Dutch Power Creations game, The Lost, even when I played that, like the way he did it at the beginning, you was able to between you you was able to choose between two different players. Two two different players. You could choose. They both have different stories until they meet at one point and stuff started going crazy. You know, he 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 had that that grasp he had that you know that uh that player real in. and plus his maps you know the style that his game is in i mean it's a really good game you gotta give it a shot you gotta play it you know same thing with tidal ways warrior game like he defended his game like crazy man i remember i remember that freaking day he was defending that game like he was like, man, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. It's supposed to be like, dude, dude, no, it's not. No, it's not, guy. It's, this is not, this is not good. This is not good. You need to change. But he, he realized, bro, when people have you 10 to 1, there ain't nothing you can really say. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing you can really say. So, I mean, y'all guys know I play bad games out here. But like I said, there's a way to let the developer know about the game without really brashing them and making them feel bad and having them not want to develop anymore.
Can you imagine you're on your job, you working on your job, you're doing the best that you can, and only thing your supervisor is telling you, he's not telling you that you're doing a good job. He's always pointing out all the wrong you're doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like you could be passive and let somebody know that they need to do something without sounding so aggressive and putting them down and making them feel bad like why would you put a human being through such subjugation and embarrassment it's already it's already hard for them to get somebody to play their game anyway and now when somebody playing their game you know you're you're talking bad about their game that's not fair that's not fair to, that's not fair to the developer and for us to represent a small RPG maker community, you know, that's not good sportsmanship. That's not good sportsman uh, sportsmanship to really tear down somebody just because their maps is bad. They're using the knock-knock noise or they got a lot of default animation. You know what I'm saying? I would never say, man, why are you still playing this game? Like, how would that make the developer feel? Like, that's... That's kind of, man, that's kind of harsh. That's kind of harsh. And, I mean, what if somebody said that about you? Of course, you could say, man, I'm a, I'm a man up. And, uh, I'm a man up and, and I'm going to take it. I don't know, man. I don't know. People, people got feelings. Even though you're a man, you, you got feelings, man. You know, feelings get hurt. Feelings get hurt. And I know Simple Gaming probably... He, he's probably one of the ones that took a lot of criticism for his game because of how the battle system was. Then he used the dungeon rummage system and how people approached it said, man, I don't like it. I don't like it. How you don't like it and you never tried it? All on his Discord. People saying they don't like the system. Why you? How you don't like it? You never tried it. That don't make sense. But it's a really good system. It's like one of the best systems that I've seen in the RPG Maker community. It's unique. I mean, it's not perfect. You run into spikes five, six times in a row. But still, what he's trying to do, you can't say nothing bad about it. But he had a lot of criticism behind that. I remember that, Jan. You know what I'm saying? But you got to give it a chance. You got to give it a chance. And that's how I treat the games, man. That's how I treat the games. I try to give the games a chance. I try to... Uh, I cannot give a proper review. And I can You know... If I don't give the game a chance. That's what I'm saying. And I stopped playing Game Jam game. That's the first reason why I didn't want to play Game Jam games. It's because I know it's not serious. I know they're in it for a prize. They're probably trying to get money and all that stuff. But Simple Game was like, man, you need to go back playing First Impressions. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Dutch, Dutch Creation Review Games. It's a really good game. Dungeon Rum is, is a really good game. You gotta give it a shot. You gotta give it a shot. Even the Rush games have a certain charm. My guilty pleasure is bad RPG Maker videos. Yeah, I see the unique setting and fairness of D7. Like I said, many would prefer him above me reviewing their game. True D7. Yeah, Dutch, Dutch is harsh. Dutch is really harsh. But at the same time, I've seen videos of him maintaining through the game. So, I mean, some people want that tough love. Some people want that tough love, need that tough love. But at the same time, I think I could tell you your game is bad without, you know, hurting your feelings. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I want you to go. I want, I want you to go back and open up RPG Maker and delete it. Delete it. And re and redo it, like plain and simple. I would never say, man, this game is trash. Go delete it, throw it away. No, I'd be like, nah, man, you need to go back and uh, really replan this. They're the same thing, but one is said in a different way. 
than without hurting nobody's feelings. I mean, it probably won't hurt your feelings to like a degree-ish, but throw this whole project away versus uh, I think you need to go and fit some stuff in there, you know, kind of make this change. Two different, it's two different ways, man. It's two different ways, but the same freaking message. Like, plain and simple. So, developer of this game, uh, I really like it. I definitely like to see more of it. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I, Based on what we have, we don't really know the plot or anything, but your battle system, it's a 4. 4.5 out of 5. I get a battle system. 4.5 out of 5 because of the fact that we are getting characters that are so under level but we gotta work hard we gotta grind hard to get them to the point where they're within match level of the enemies where the fights feels like they're you know they're um even so uh keep me posted on the game i would definitely stay posted on this game and um i definitely wouldn't mind playing it to be honest it's actually really good it's really good so, I want to beat this boss, and we're going to fight this boss some more. Just had to give you my two cents. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, dude. So, I am subjected to all questions some people don't like. Some people don't like, um... They say I'm too soft. That's pretty much what some people say. I'm too soft, man. I'm too soft, but it's all good. It's all good. Man. Simple. Put your game on the beta tester. I think it is. I think it is, uh, Dutch. Did my new openings, did my new opening scenes make my game more, it does. I'm surprised it's so clean, it looks so clean on the, uh, for that type of engine. I gotta look at my RPG maker for the Switch and see how developing games, ho oh ho! There's a balance between being too positive and too negative. I think you got it. Exactly, man. Exactly. This is what these this is what these some of these people don't understand. They don't understand. Why would I want to why would I want to uh scare away a potential subscriber, a potential player of your game? A reviewer of your game like why where you could give them the same amount of of um guidance but you just word it differently like why you gotta be so brash No, because your stories are not good, my dude. They're trash. <laughs> you don't even say the whole story. Archmage Ring. Reflects rape. S. This is this game is freaking crazy. Great potion. Great potion. Red scarf. Raises attack times number by one. 
So if she wear this, she hits four. She hits four times. Let's freaking go. Fairy does. Barbarian bracelet. What? Generates five VP when critting. Halves ice damage. Alright, we're gonna go inside that cathedral. <laughs> oh, shoot. This guy. Someone has put their heart and soul into their game. They don't want it torn apart. And so many already do that. It just adds to the anxiety of releasing it. And that's the problem. Like, like, how is somebody supposed to learn if you're putting them down? I mean, we all been there before. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's like somebody saying you can't do nothing right. You would never amount to anything. And this um, developer, if you are will be watching, you need to redo this. This is a cut off tree. Oh snap! This gotta be the last level. can't read it so we're missing a person we're missing a person i really don't want to go too far let's go back to the deep caves yeah that same tree is in the in the rummage it's in the dungeon so what are you saying my brother <laughs> Woo! Freaking Dutch is crazy, man. Oh my gosh. But for it, what would happen though? If somebody played your game. And they say, oh man, this game, this game is pretty good. It needs some work. You know, you got to redo the, uh, you know, you got to do these, you know, the battle system needs some work. The enemy needs some balancing and stuff like that. How, how would that person take that? Oh, that was a good review. Appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know. They may not even... They may not even be nervous about the next person playing their game. But you're the first person to play the game. Be like, man, I hate this. This game is no good. You know, I, I wouldn't even buy this game. To be honest. You know what I mean? What's going to happen? He probably don't want nobody to play his game no more. I mean, I wouldn't. To be honest, I wouldn't. And it's already hard for developers to do dev laws because they don't want people to see their game. And we saw it all over on Twitch last night. Harlequin, you saw it from uh, Tao. He don't want nobody to see his game because he thinks it's a mess. Harlequin didn't want to show his game either. He, it wasn't even meant to go live. He said, man, if I knew you was going to play my game... I wouldn't have told you to do it because the battle system is all screwed up. Those were his exact words. His exact words. But, you know, he had it. He had it open to the public. It was no turning back. Got to take it, dude. You got to gotta deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they gotta be one more character. <laughs> ah, Dutch, man. This guy does. You can't I can't with this guy. I can't with this dude. This dude say you still played it. <laughs> Woo! 
You know my channel. I purchase game and respect developers. Most definitely. I think it's three o'clock already. You gotta pay Dutch like 40 bucks just for him to play your game. He's a top notch reviewer. Yeah, he want to see it. I definitely want to see it myself. Ten thousand, boy. He gonna get mad at your game. When did he go? When did he go in the dungeon? And he ran into spikes over and over and over and over again. He was like, "Man, screw this." He was like, "Why did I agree to this game?" Man, y'all mess up my freaking day, man. I missed my uh my clock already. But D7, you can't have the clock, man. People, people don't want to feel pressure or nothing like that. Really? Like they ain't already under pressure. Yeah, right. You ain't played this game yet. You gonna cut, you gonna be cussing. They be like, people in your house gonna be like, what's going on up there? <laughs> Harley can be like, I got another one. Got him. Guinea Miles, I think this game is up your alley because it is a horror. The game is a horror. To be honest, have you yelling and screaming, doing all stuff that's not, uh. Oh no, where was that crystal guy at again? When it hits 12 o'clock on the year 2000. That's when you need to know you gotta run. Alright, I thought it was gonna be another character, but it's not. I don't know how you open up these, um... These, um... 
gold chest. Alright, so the village. Let's get him some more of my crystals. Extra lives restore HP to 50. You can have 10 of each item in battle. Let's freaking go. Oh, there was a scroll right here. I almost forgot about that. Block? Will you Harlequin block you? No way. If I'm if I'm not reading that right, not old Harley Har, not Mr. Harley. So Harlequin, are you streaming today? Nah, D7. Been a busy day. Can't, my boy. I think I got all the good stuff. Tiger Claws. <laughs> oh wow you open 59 out of 78 chests you gather 10 out of 21 herbs you have collected 62 out of 91 experience or you have broken 23 out of 27 urns that actually is not a lot you accomplish wow really that was rude. Lucky I don't cuss anymore. I'd be like, you a rude, you know what. Cause y'all be doing random encounters the wrong way. It's not hard to do random encounters. It's really not. Dungeon Rummage, I beat Dungeon Rummage. I beat it already. And did what no man has ever done before. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
He said he ain't beat anything. Really, dude? You gotta come here with your two cents and try to say what I didn't do? How dare you? Challenge optional. Yes. Oh, this is the enemy? Oh, he kind of strong. <laughs> I want to heat weak against a rock. Oh my goodness. I'm nowhere. Got him killed. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking dead. It's all good. First game over, I guess. Yeah, that was a challenge. That was a challenge. I'm not ready for that one. I think I need four people. Say you would never claim victory over DR. Oh my gosh. This is bad. So embarrassing. Not to show me proof of having a grand library built. That ain't Jack, dude. I could do that with my eyes closed. Okay, each side has the optional balls. See what enemy this oh man, it's even worse. Dang it. Oh 
Oh my god, and we can't escape. But I will only gain I will use the timer on for real for real is probably dungeon rummage. That's the only game I'll probably use this timer on. Oh, they hecka strong. <laughs> it's too late, huh? Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a warrior. Powerful enemy was ahead. You should be level 45 to step in further. Oh my gosh. And I'm on level 32, so... Alright. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um Wild Silver by Great Potion Games. Definitely give this game a download. Give this game a try. It's actually pretty good. Do any of you guys download the games that I do be streaming and actually play it for yourself? I don't know. I'm not gonna don't answer that question now. That's probably be our poll for tomorrow. Uh, I got a request to play a RPG Maker MV game tomorrow, so we would definitely, we would definitely be um, playing that tomorrow. So keep up with the stream details, and we are uh, going to get this developer an honest opinion. An honest opinion. Guess I was too quick. Yes, she was. You could have kept that to yourself, sir. Could have kept that to your freaking self. And let's answer it anonymously when I do the poll. I'm not sure why the poll didn't show up today. Kind of upset because I did want to see the results of the poll, but... Uh, I will definitely go over the whole chat. I did not see the whole chat, but I really appreciate you. Isaiah Ben Israel, Ben Rawson, Simple Gaming, Dutch Power Creation, uh, Ryan, uh, DJ, freaking Guinea Miles, of course. You know, everybody. If I didn't name you, I do apologize. But we did have... Um, tribulation up in here so it's a lot of chat it's a lot of chat definitely want to go back and read this chat like i always do i wish i could raise somebody maybe you can do that when you become youtube partner but i can't raid i can't raid but i'm looking at the timer that timer looks so sexy oh my god that timer looks so freaking sexy y'all Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. I can see the poll, but I can't see it. I'm the creator of the poll, but I can't see a motherfucking thing. I can't see a, I can't see a thing. So let me refresh this and Yeah, I can't see I can't see nothing. Then YouTube don't even show you the poll after either so I'm screwed but yeah um, I always like I always say try to be supportive of one another try to uh, you know help one another out definitely um, get other streamers to play your game like the nerd mansion and also uh, Harlequin Harlequin probably will play it on Twitch though that's the thing he'll probably play it on twitch and nowhere else because he doesn't stream on youtube so 
Okay, here's the poll. Okay, we got 19 votes. We got 19 votes. 20 votes. 50% says zero for one penny to 99 cents. 20% says $10 to 1999 and 10% says $20 to $60 and 20% says freaking free so I would say 10 people voted saying that their game is worth $10 $10 okay it's not there's nothing wrong it's nothing wrong I always say always go with your heart if your heart says twenty dollars charge twenty dollars if your heart says sixty dollars charge sixty dollars but one the those with the highest amount of money between twenty dollars to sixty dollars your demo gotta be top notch top notch you gotta have a hardcore demo do not spend two hours trying to get people interested in your demo. Have them be have them interested within 30 minutes to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour. One game did all of that. Did all of that within 30 minutes. If you like Final Fantasy VI, that's one of the games. Not, I ain't say the only game, but that's one game that did that. It had a, it had a good opening, nice opening. It introduced the mech, the, uh, the mech system. It had an enemy fight right off the gate. And a boss fight within 10 minutes of the game. With a unique battle system you hit the shell you you get gigavolt then it got a good a good backstory then it introduced another character lock then more characters moogles all within 30 minutes all within 30 minutes like you already like your height your height instead of starting a game Go chop five woods down. Go kill three slimes. Go to the store, give this letter, and get some butter, some sugar, and all that good stuff. Like, that's pretty much what we see these days. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I probably do a video, man, of me, you know, saying stuff that I don't like, me personally, what I don't like when I play these first impressions. Because it's too washed up, man. It's too freaking washed up. Like, those, those days are over. You need to get you a console then, man. Get you a console. Get you a console. Stop being cheap. Buy you uh, a little PlayStation. And uh, have fun with it. It don't make sense to buy an Xbox because it's PC. Or get you a nice little PlayStation and whatnot. He said, heck no. <laughs> In that case, sir, I'm going to torture you on your stream tonight when you play your dungeon rummage or you're going to play something else. Harlequin is the only developer to play his game and give it 20 out of 10 stars. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Bye, guys, man. I'm not going to hold y'all some too much longer. I'm going to go ahead and take this dog out. Take Violet out for a walk. And just chill chillax and, and watch some streams. Until then, my peoples. I will see you tomorrow with the next RPG Maker MV title. I forgot the name of it, but you guys will know before I know. Take care. Peace out. Y'all have a good one.